I'm going to tie a Hammer Creek Super Ball, and I'm starting off with a Green Caddis Outfitters 2457 uh, Scud Hook in size 10. And I've got an eighth inch silver bead and 10 wraps or so of lead for additional weight. The thread that I'm going to use is a 6 uh pink, and I'll start behind the lead, take my wraps through, and then remove that tag. The body of this pattern is made up of two colors of the same material, and this is um, virtual nymph, uh, nymph skin, and this is some fantastic stuff. It uh, feels like it's more of a latex base um, material, real easy to work with, super durable, highly recommend it. Uh, so the first color that I'm going to take is going to be the, the back, and this is in a chartreuse or light green, and I'll cut a V into it so that I've got a place to tie it in and I'll put that behind the lead and then stretch it down the bend so it gives a slimmer profile. I'm going to put a rib into this and I'm going to use a um, small pink wire and tie that into the side and down the bend and finally the body is going to be made up of again that uh, nymph skin uh, but this is in a translucent so I'm going to take maybe a three or four inch section and when I trim it instead of a V I'll trim it at an angle to tie in so I'll Again, catch the tip of that and stretch it down. Now, if you wanted to create a bigger bodied pattern, you can dub underneath this, and it'll give you some more volume. But I'm just going to fill in any gaps with my uh, with my thread. Now I can take this nymph skin and start to wrap it up, and I'll start by taking wraps that are pulled relatively tight and I'm going to cover the back portion of the previous wrap and work my way up. As I get further along in this, I'm going to add some volume by just letting some of that tension go and it's going to create a wider band and a little bit fuller body. So I'll work my way up until I get behind the bead and then I can pull it real tight and a couple of wraps in front and behind and then I'll pull it again pretty taut so I can remove it and that uh, material will slink back through. Now if you wanted to tie a, a nymph just like this and not have the back portion you can see it's got some really nice segmentation with that um, with that uh, nymph skin. But I'm going to put a back to it. So I, I also tie them without a back. This takes a sharpie real well so you can just put a line down the back if you want to add it uh, to be two-toned. Uh, I think this back gives it some more uh, character, a little bit more body. The nice thing about this too is that you don't have to cut it into taper. I can stretch the back half and release some of the tension and you can see that it gives me that taper without making uh, any uh, any cuts to the material itself. So I'll drape that over top, a couple wraps in front and behind and again I can remove that and I'll put one more in for good measure and now I can bring this rib up through and I'm going to try to follow those segments that I made as I go up. This is a pretty heavy, heavily segmented fly. And I think that, and the reason why I called it the, a Super Bowl is obviously the material that it's made out of. But then I think that that material also helps 
keep the bite a little bit longer because of it's real soft as opposed to you know chomping into something that's real rigid and spitting it out right away. So I'll take my wraps up and when I tie in my wire I'll take some twist and then break it off. Now I'll come through and put in a collar to this pattern and you can use whatever uh, you know color that you like. Uh, I'm going to keep everything with the pink theme so I've got some uh, synthetic pink dubbing here and I'll put in a collar to this pattern. And I'll pull everything back and whip finish behind the bead. And remove the thread. And that's it. Really cool pattern. Again, love the texture, love the material of this. You can tie it in a variety of colors, just swap out the the nymph skin and, uh, and rib, etc. And that is the Hammer Creek Super Bowl.